Morning guys and gals, Froggy here. What I want to show you today is some new flashlights that I got. This is an old flashlight that I got maybe, I'm going to say five or six years ago. Tech Light Lumen Master um, from Costco. Had a little leash on it that this one's still on there. Some of them broke off. Uh, yeah, is one that broke off, but no big deal. It still works. The only issue I ever had with these, they were advertised, it doesn't say it anywhere on there, but they were supposed to be 250 lumens, which is pretty good for a little flashlight. Three AAAs, these also take three AAAs. These were advertised to be 250 lumens. The, the lens is plastic though. So the lenses get scratched, and when the lens gets scratched, the light, not to get too scientific or anything, but the light kind of diffuses. It's like shining a light through a piece of wax paper or something. Not so good. This one, I don't know yet. I'm going to have to kind of test this somehow to see whether it's plastic or glass. My suspicion is it's probably also plastic. But... This new one is rated at 350 lumens. So, being the skeptic that I am, I want to test them side by side. I'm going to put fresh batteries in both of them, and I'm going to shine them somewhere here, and I'm going to show you guys what 250 is versus 350, or if these manufacturers, Tech Light and Duracell, are just BSing us all. Okay, I'm going to try and give you a little close-up action here. The actual LED on the new one is bigger. Let me see if I can focus. Actually, that's pretty good focus. See, the one on the, on the left is the new one. And if you look at the little yellowish tab there, I'll call it a tab. It is bigger than the one on the right. Uh, both are aluminum style uh, cases or, or the body. Let's call it the body of the flashlight. Both aluminum. They both have these little things here. This is supposed to be like a tactical, you know, some bad guy comes after you. You take the flashlight and hit him with this. It's got a sharp edge on it. And it also, of course, protects the lens a little bit. Uh, they both appear to have some waterproofing. This one has the, the old one had the O-ring on the cap. The new one has the O-ring on the body. Let me show you the cap. See, that's, come on, light up here. There's the O-ring. There, around that edge. Uh, so let's put some new batteries in. They both have a similar type cartridge, if you want to call it that, or holder for three AAAs. Whoops, a little out of frame there. Okay. What the fuck? These are rechargeable batteries, which I really recommend to all you guys and gals just get some of these i'm going to take them out and put fresh non-rechargeable batteries in there so that we'll be comparing apples to apples so these uh, cassettes maybe i'll call them cassettes uh similar you just snap in the batteries make sure positive goes where it's supposed to be negative goes where it's supposed to be the duracell has uh, a copper spring, like a copper, that kind of looks like brass, but anyway, um, the old one had like a stainless steel spring, so I expect both of those should be sufficient. The new one has some kind of a little trigger thing there that's spring-loaded. I don't really know what that does. Maybe I'll figure it out. Let's install these cassettes and turn them on. Okay, so on the left side will be 
the one that claims 350 lumens. On the right will be the old one that claimed 250 lumens. And remember, apples to apples, except for one thing, this one does have a scratched, not terrible, terrible scratches, but it has some light scratches on the lens. So let's turn them on. I'm trying to be really fair here. First click is bright. So the new one on the left is whiter. The old one on the right is like a little off-white color. The new one on the left, well, it clearly is brighter. The one on the right, less so. Let's use the, they both have three positions. Second position is dimmer, and that's like to save your battery. So, hmm. The new one definitely dims down. The old one doesn't seem to dim down very much. Let me check and see if it's actually doing anything. Bright? Oh, you know what? Okay. We have to start this over again. The new one comes on bright first, then dim. The old one comes on dim first, then bright. So I'll have to, I'll explain it to you. So here is bright to bright. All right. Now, huh. What do you think? It's definitely whiter, so it's a whiter light. And let's get up closer. It seems to be more uniform light, but that could be because of the scratches on this one. Let's back up a little bit. All right. Yeah, well, I backed up a little bit. I'm about four or five feet from the wall that I'm projecting on. And the new one is brighter and whiter. So now let's go to dim. So we have to go through that, that, that. There's dim. There's dim. All right. So on the dim setting, the old one is brighter. However, comma, dim, when it's sufficient, you want to use dim because it doesn't use up your batteries as fast, okay? So the old one still kind of uses up batteries faster, I would, I would assume. I'm pretty sure that's correct because the dim setting is not that dim. All right, let's go to the, you know, I'm in trouble, help me, stress. Now on that one, I would also say the old one is brighter, but it won't last as long. The new one is a little dimmer and, you know, still always whiter. So let's go through it once again. Bright, bright, dim, dim, alarm or flashing, alarm or flashing. So there you have it. Um, I would agree then, let me put my uh, camera light back on. So, I'm glad I bought these new ones. They were 12 bucks. Hey, 12 for four. I think this was like somewhere between 12 and 16 bucks for three of them. So, good, brighter. You know what I wish it had was a focus, and it doesn't have a focus. Neither one of them have a focus. Uh, so, I love to give these away for... Um, for presents, you know, because they do last a long time. Throw them in your glove box in your car, and then uh, it's there when you need it. And uh, if you're not using it, they last for probably, you know, a couple of three years just sitting there, not doing anything. Uh, so that's my evaluation or review 
Uh, give me a thumbs up or a like. This helps you out. Subscribe more to my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. And uh, take care. Be safe. Froggy out. Bye-bye. So I don't want to leave you hanging or anything, but um, as near as I can tell, just by tapping, and I didn't want to scratch it up. I didn't want to give, you know, do a scratch test with a knife, but I think these are these are plastic too. And as far as those little compression, their contacts are obviously electrical contacts. I don't know what they do. The uh, the old one doesn't have it. The new one does. Maybe it has something to do with different settings bright, medium, flash, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, if, no, if somebody knows, please post it up on the comments. And uh, thanks. See you guys. Bye-bye.